All right, mate, how you doing? My name's Spencer Owen and welcome to Football Manager 2021. I've been given the great pleasure of giving you guys a quick overview of some of the new features on FM21, which I know, just like me, a lot of you have been waiting for. A few weeks ago, Sports Interactive officially announced this year's game, including the news that this series is coming to new platforms and stores this year, uh, including Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and the Epic Games Store. They then followed this with a short features teaser, and today I get to pull back the curtain a little bit further. Like every year, there's loads of new additions and fine tuning under the surface, but for this video specifically, I'm gonna focus on four key areas that have been significantly upgraded. Last year, there was particular emphasis on long-term planning and development, but this year, the focus is all on you, the manager. Okay, from small time conversations to big time cup finals, the focus is on you. I'm already thinking about who I'm gonna do my first save with. But in the meantime, let's get under the hood of Football Manager 2021. First key area is interactions. Okay, communication in FM21 now has far more purpose. What you say and how you say it has been completely changed. Not only have press conferences and conversation systems been completely redesigned, but so is the way you speak. This is now far more human and more real than ever before. The team at Sports Interactive have also introduced quick chats that represent short, informal conversations, which is kind of like grabbing a player just for a one or two minute conversation on a particular topic. They also cover remote conversations with people who aren't at the club. So like players who are out on loan, uh, opposition managers, journalists, for example. Gestures are a replacement for the tone system that's been in FM for years. They allow you to be far more expressive with options for every situation you find yourself in, uh, from meetings with your squad to your weekly press conference. For a bit more context, uh, if you're greeting a new signing, you'll maybe welcome him with a wide-armed greeting. But if you're unhappy with a question from the media, you may choose to be folding your arms. You can use gestures to influence people on what you're saying, but they will also shape your personality and how your players and the media view you. The next key area is match day, and every fixture now feels like a proper spectacle. A new build-up and post-match experience bring you closer to the action than ever before. Pre-game, it's all about utilising your backroom staff who are there for you with all the info and advice you need to dominate straight from kickoff. Tactical insight, team sheets and opposition reports contain both existing and brand new data analysis uh, to give you the ability to fine tune your tactics ahead of kickoff. The match UI itself has been completely remodeled and modernized. Your screen is now dominated by the action, uh, giving you the full view of the game, allowing you to appreciate a host of graphical improvements, including improved player models, an improved animation system, and improved lighting. Sports Interactive will be releasing plenty more feature details prior to early access, which is normally available roughly two weeks prior to the game's official release date. Details on getting early access are available in the description. Match day does not end at the full-time whistle. A post-match summary gives you the complete story of the game, including reaction from the press and social media, as well as a suite of statistical information, including Sports Interactive's own expected goals system which makes an exciting debut in conjunction with the team at Sire Sports. You'll now be able to see just how clinical your players were or weren't in front of goal. A real favorite area of the game, certainly one of mine, is of course squad building. And that's another key area that Sports Interactive have expanded this season, bringing you closer to the scouting and data team to help you secure your top targets. To do this, FM21 introduces a new staff role, new meetings and new interactions, all within a fresh and true to life transfer landscape. You can now power your scouting and set your transfer intentions with brand new recruitment meetings. Before the start of every window, you're invited to a meeting with your club's top decision makers. Here, you'll take advice from staff on positions you need to strengthen while also giving your own thoughts and setting new assignments for your scouts. These meetings prompt you to continuously think about your next move and your long-term strategy. Whether you need players immediately or looking at the long-term, you'll get help and advice from your backroom staff. But of course, you're the manager, so you can choose to go with that advice or take a different path. Final area of focus for now is gonna be the end of season experience. FM21 is going to let you relive the highs and lows of your success like never before. Success doesn't just mean winning trophies, of course. It could be narrowly avoiding relegation or achieving promotion via the playoffs. Not only will these celebrations look better on the pitch with improved title presentations, we're talking trophy lifts, we're talking podiums, we're talking confetti cannons, people, but post-match, there'll be more media attention and hype too. At the end of each campaign, you'll also get a brand new season review presentation 
which will take you through your highlights on and off the pitch. Listen, you've worked hard for your success, so you should enjoy it. No matter how big or small, put your feet up and revel in your achievements. This video is gonna kickstart a long series of features drops across the FM socials. So if you want a more detailed look at some of the areas I've covered today and to learn much more about FM21, then check out at Football Manager on Twitter this coming Monday, October 19th. Personally, I'm particularly looking forward to finding out about the new ways that you can interact with agents. So that's it for now. Just some of the headline areas of Football Manager 2021. I, for one, cannot wait to get my hands on the new game. I'm sure you guys are feeling the same.